Good afternoon, preppers. Welcome to Goshen Prepping. As we're still dealing with the aftermath of shortages from 2020, and we're trying to keep an eye on what's actually happening in 2023, I came across this article, which basically notes, long story short, we're not heading into a good direction. In fact, things are even going to be worse. Oh, and it's an article from our reliable friends of the World Economic Forum, which is very important for us to look at because they're the ones that are trying to plan these things. So we have to see what they're up to. This is how war in Europe, war in Europe, is disrupting fertilizer supplies and threatening global food security. First off, I really love how they're putting it the war in Europe. And I, granted, I, I agree that Russia and Ukraine are part of Europe per se. But when I think of war in Europe, I think of main Europe, like the European Union. Are they trying to tell us what's coming? The war in Ukraine has led to shortages of essential crop fertilizers, which we saw last year. Sanctions and war-related insurance worries have slowed deliveries to a trickle. Again, saw that last year. And the disruption threatens food security of the world's most vulnerable people. We saw that again last year as well. But basically, they're trying to add on to that. The WEF 2023 Global Risk Report ranked a looming food supply crisis as one of the top four threats facing the world, predicting that the lagged effect of the price spike in fertilizer would hit food production across the world in 2023. And that is well said, honestly, because people don't think about the lagging effect. They see fertilizers down now, but you know, if the fertilizer starts going up, then everything will be fine. No, it takes time for the whole supply system to catch up. And we easily see a lagging effect seeing more of catastrophic problems well after the problem's actually been fixed. And it hasn't been fixed either. So we're in trouble as far as fertilizer goes. Shortages have been compounded by export restrictions imposed by China, which account for 30% of global phosphate fertilizer. As a consequence of measures to protect the domestic market, China's exports shrunk by 50%. At the same time, surging energy prices, also caused by the war, have led to, ready for this, a 70% drop in European fertilizer production limiting world supplies, whereas half the world's population relies on this for growth of food. You can see here the drastic spike in fertilizer prices. And all this makes perfect sense for the fact that understand when they put the fertilizer on the ground, it's not as the crops are halfway growing. They either put it in the ground in the fall, which we're talking about in 2022, or early spring to let it start processing through the ground. And we're all at that point right now, aren't we? So as they're trying to make up for last year for all the shortages and problems, now we're seeing a, another problem with fertilizers. So therefore, crops this year around the world are going to be decreasing. Now, you may think in the United States, we don't have to worry about that because do we get the fertilizer from them? Well, first off, yes, we do. But secondly, it definitely causes a spike in the market as far as prices of foods go. So either way, what we're looking at in 2023 as the year progresses is more shortages and even higher prices at the grocery store. I want you to be prepared for this. So right now may be the time to start stocking up on things if you haven't already, because we're definitely looking at a difficult time in 2023 as far as food goes.